Hey guys, Pete here. I've finally gone and done the root controller, so let's check it out. For those of you who have been following the project for a while now, will know that I've built a number of CNC machines. These machines have grown in size and in complexity over the years, and I've needed a motion controller that can keep up with me. Whilst researching a new motion controller, there was a lot on the market, but never did the things I wanted it to do. I started out using the Arduinos with built-in stepper motor drivers, such as the ramps boards, but these are no longer fit for purpose, now my machines have got even bigger. I've got a plan that I want to build a plasma cutter in the near future, and I know these make a lot of electrical noise, so I needed a motion controller that would be isolated to reduce any chances of electrical gremlins causing issues. Seeing as there was never on the market, I decided to implement my own, and this is where the root controllers come out. I've had the first revision out in the wild for a while now with some beta testers giving me help and feedback where necessary. This has been extremely helpful and has created this revision too. So let's go through its features and understand what it can and can't do. So let's take a look at the unit. Starting at the top here we've got some status indicators. These are used for the serial comms to see activity on the serial interface. We've got a, if you can see that there, we have got a power light for the isolated USB comms. This is what where you would plug your PC in. Um, it's a type C interface running at 2.0 speeds. Um, it's fully compliant to the USB standard. And this is isolated from the rest of the circuitry. So there's no chance of it ever affecting your PC or laptop. Moving a bit further down, we've got our program button and reset. Just in case the automatic programmer doesn't work on the card, you can manually force the card into a programming state. On this side, we have got a discrete output. This can be used uh, to drive a laser or a spindle with uh, direction and enable commands. It's got PWM, direction and enable. These are five volt logic. This bottom one under here forms another isolated bubble. This is the isolated 485 comms that would be typically used to communicate with a VFD spindle. This is great, um, so we can control uh, any types of spindles remotely. And just next to it is a power indicator to indicate when that isolated bubble is powered. Power is sourced from the VFD itself for this port. So just bear note that your VFD will have to power this area. Moving along, we've got our six outputs for step motors. Now, this card is designed to drive external stepper motor drivers such as this one. Now the isolation is achieved because this device has got optocouplers on its inputs and the card is specifically designed to drive opto isolators as these have quite high current demands more than standard logic types. So it's perfectly suited to drive these large external stepper motor drivers. As I mentioned on the intro of the video, uh, these outputs can be ganged together into single axis. For example, the root CNC has two Y motors. Now we can drive two Y motors independently from two ports here. This is perfect for auto squaring or auto racking it's called. Um, it's not just limited to Y, you could do X and Y uh, and connect up to two motors or you can individually drive six motors, which you'll see in a demo shortly. Moving along, we've got our MOSFET area. This is particularly great for driving solenoids and uh, any devices that require switching of large power. Um, in the demo, I'll show a, it switching a solenoid, so it's perfectly suited for switching inductive loads and can be powered from a separate supply. You will see in my demo, I'll be powering this from um, 12 volts, but it can go up to 36 volts. Moving on to the, this side of the unit, we have just got status indicators. Um, for when each output or relay is enabled. I don't know if you can see that very well, there you go. These come up as a red color and it's particularly handy to debug um, your configuration. Around the top we've got three relays. Now these are perfect for turning on a shop vac or a dust extractor um, or any other mains powered device. Moving along, this is our power input connector. This takes anything from nine to 36 volts and is perfect um, for being used with the same power supply as these external drivers. This whole section at the top here is purely for your input. 
and this is designed to use standard switches or your inductive probe type switches. You will see in the demo I've got an inductive probe connected up to one of these inputs and they share the same power as your V-in. The V-in also powers the root controller itself and provides an isolated bubble. As you can see by this graphic, this area is an isolated bubble and the rest of the card um, can be isolated from each individual zone. There is a total of five zones, input, USB, RS-485, MOSFET. Technically the air relays are inherently isolated due to their nature. Moving along, we've got an SD card that is perfect for putting your jobs on and scripts or macros and you can run directly from this SD card. Because this uses a ESP32, it runs a software called Fluid NC. This is um, a brilliant bit of, bit of software developed by Bart and his team, which I'd highly recommend you going to check out. Link in the video description below. Right, this is my demo setup I've got going on here. I've got a 24 volt power supply powering my six external step motor drivers. These are driving, I've got three NEMA 23s and some NEMA 17 step motor drivers. I ideally would have liked to have all NEMA 23s, but this is what I've got to hand. Um, so this is gonna prove that we can drive six axis independently. Going around, we've got a, a solenoid for a air valve. I typically use this for my mist feed on my Route 4 CNC. Um, this is then powered by a separate 12 volt supply that is separate to this one over here. Using the relays, I've just got a bog standard ceiling light just, to, just so you can visually see that the relay is operating. I've got my 24 volts, the same as what's powering my step motor drivers going into the root controller here. I've got a inductive sensor. This is the MPN style inductive probe. Uh, and then I've got a neat little um, remote unit that has hold, uh, sorry, it's macro start hold buttons and access to your probe. This is particularly handy for setting your workpiece height or tool offset in the software with using a probe that you clip, uh, clip to your end mill. Uh, in this demo, we're just gonna uh, use macros to prove its functionality. So if I click this button over here, you can see one of the relays operates for a second. You can program that to do what you like. So again, just the light. With the relay, it's difficult to see. You might hear it, but you'll also see a red light appear through the clear case. Do that once more. And using this middle button, we will see the six axis, um, the root controller driving the six axis independently. Take note of the individual speeds of each motor. You can see this end one's got a higher uh, feed rate than this end one over here. So in this configuration, it's X, Y, Z, A, B, C, or you can call it whatever you want. And then finally, the MPN inductive probe, just needs something metallic to trigger it. I'm gonna use a spanner for it. And as you can see, this is kind of tying it in, all the functionality together. This is a very basic demo, uh, and it's the bare minimum you'll probably need for a CNC machine. You don't need all the step motor drivers, you only need four for the Root CNC series. And then you can connect up any peripherals you like. So, that's the Root Controller. If you like it, please check out the links in the description below for where you can buy it. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this, or even a more detailed video on how to wire a CNC machine. And, join, and consider joining our social links such as Discord, Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. Again, links in the video description below. Stay tuned and I'll catch you for the next one. Thanks, bye. This is Jasper everyone, my CNC garage cat. It's been a while since he started in the video, but here he is, he's still going, lovely as ever. <laughs> Can I film now? <laughs>